If you would like to use in Salesforce such kind of out-of-the-box functionality that allowing you to build something that look like that, uh, let's name it in-app guidance, and you would like to promote uh, for your users, for example, when you onboard new users, or when, for example, you roll out a new functionality related to Salesforce, so that we have a feature in Salesforce. It could be found in the setup with name in-app guidance. Uh, basic settings which are related to in-app guidance allowing us to set up what will be delay between in-app guidance, what will be Salesforce standard um, in-app guidance, should we show them or not, should we show custom in-app guidance if it's necessary for us to, for example, sometimes to disable it in general, and adoption assistance in Salesforce orgs. Uh, so here at the top right corner we have add button and in the bottom we have a list of already created in-app guidance. So when we are going to the uh, in-app guidance and clicking on the add button, uh, what's becoming open is in-app guidance builder in Salesforce. And what we could do from there, uh, we could add steps. When we add in steps we could uh, create a single prompt which will be showing up or we could create a wall walkthrough. You could see the series up to 10 prompts, link it together, or here will be one floated and targeted on document prompt. For example, we decided to use walkthrough, and here at this moment uh, we have a couple of them. This uh, one that I was able to show you in the just beginning of the video, it looks like this. And um, here we have a couple of more options, let's for example use target prompt. And uh, additional item which is available here at the prompt position and we could select that we, for example, would like to attach it to the uh, global search. Uh, use custom colors if it's necessary, record types. Uh, and from here what is um, else available for us, it's possibility to set up title. As you could see, it's look like in general uh, that we're creating, let's say, slides in the sidebar, and those slides uh, will be prompt where we selecting them to prompt. So once it's done, what we could do is we could just save, uh, resolve the errors, remove the correct format before settings, enter the required information. Okay, let us just check what was missed. Click there was nothing missed. Okay, cancel button, save, and as you could see during save of the in-app guidance we need to specify uh, if you would like to add a link to the step of the workflow that opens the URL, if it will be necessary for us to add, at this moment we could just skip it, schedule, uh, and in the schedule we could decide what will be start date. Uh, when the in-app guidance should start and optionally stop if it's required for us, frequency. Uh, so here we could choose how often we need to repeat it. Uh, and uh, here we have also flag that allowing us to show it in-app guidance right when the page is loaded. And uh, here we could set up times to show. So once we decided what settings we would like to use, we're clicking on next. And here we have settings uh, to set up for the profiles. And then for the profiles we could specify no restrictions, so it will be showing up for all profiles, or we could specify uh, some specific profiles that we would like to use. So let's at this moment not set it up for the profiles and just keep it. And uh, in terms of permissions, uh, you could see that at this moment we could select no permissions restriction or just specific permissions. So what it's doing is just grabbing from the permission set or the profile list of available um, permissions. And based on these permissions, like for example, uh, access to custom mobile apps, uh, we could show for these specific users with that um, access uh, some specific items. So it's not, a, let's say, a list of permission sets or something like this, but it's a list of uh, standard Salesforce um, permissions. Uh, so at this moment, we would like to skip it, for example, just for demo purpose, and details how we would like to name our in-app guidance. description and URL if you would like to for example uh, prompt it to someone add to help menu to share if it will be required from us or just uh, copy it and share with someone so we just saving this 
and as you could see how it looks like. So if you would like to add more steps, we click in here just to add steps and uh, using it. So when we, for example, use a uh, docket prompt, so it always will be showing up in the prompt location. So we're just, uh, deciding in which one. I also could specify custom color, M, and record type. Uh, so like, for example, show only for the specific record type. And after that, we could use this map guidance for, for our goals. And also, I would like to show which of the components could be shown in the target mode. Like, for example, you could see uh, which components at this moment could be uh, targeted. It's those items that we could see on the page and in terms of the global search uh, at this moment we could just use um, general menu but we could not select any item from the menu that is expanded from the uh, global search bar. So uh, let's at this moment just go to this URL that we just copied. And let's see how 